Hi everyone, it's Linnea. Welcome back for day two of the LDRS Creative January features. The theme is still Cozy Wonderland. So I'm going to be using one of my favorite wintry stamp sets and pairing that with a few items from the new release which are not wintry in creating a winter card. Let's get started here with one of the new stamp sets. So this is the Scenic Background 1 stamp set and there are four different little kind of mini scenes that you can use to build up a card. I'm going to be using these mountains and I think these mountains can be great for kind of a summertime mountain if you want to do like a little lake scene but these are also really cute snowy mountains. I'm grabbing some of the little critters from the Have an Ice Day stamp set and I really wanted to use those polar bears but I thought that they were going to be just a little bit too big for my card design. So instead I went with the iceberg and the penguins. I'm grabbing a sentiment from the new You Mean the World to Me stamp set. And these sentiments go with some of the critters from the new release, but I think you can use them for any kind of card. I'm going to go ahead and start coloring here. I'm using some blue green markers for the iceberg. I think that using some blue green markers give an icy glow rather than using gray markers. It, this is going to kind of just have a cold feel to it. So I'm just starting with my darkest color and then blending out that color, leaving some white spaces in the center for a highlight. And then for my mountains, I'm just going to come in with some cool gray markers and just add a little bit of shadow. For my penguins, I'm going to also use some cool gray markers and just build up a a darker color. I don't like to use just a plain black marker. I much prefer to add depth and shading with cool gray markers. Once I'm all done coloring, I'm going to use the Have an Ice Day dies and cut out my penguin and the iceberg. And then I'll use scissors to fussy cut around that mountain. But before I do, I'm going to use a black pen and just kind of close up the lines on the left and the right hand side. These new scenic background stamps are meant and purposely designed so that you can stretch them across a card. So if you're making a 5x7 card or a slimline card, you can nest these together. That left end of the mountains will perfectly fit into the right side, but I only wanted to have just the one mountain range in the background, so I just used a pen and just quickly kind of closed off that line so that it looked like a, um, a finished little mountain scene and kind of like mini icebergs in the background. I die cut some silver shimmer cardstock using the falling snow die. This was an add-on die set from the very first LDRS Creative Craft Kit. And there are still some of these dies left over in the shop. So I thought that I would use this for my card because I really love this background. And I'm using my handy dandy stamp pendable tool, which is not just for stamping. I like to use that for pressing on large images because it has a larger surface area than my fingers do. Then I'm just going to grab my little images and arrange them on my card. I stamped that sentiment below the iceberg using some Ravid Hybrid ink. And I popped up my iceberg, the mountain range, and my little penguins. And this card is complete. I hope you enjoyed. This is a really simple card, but that shimmer silver cardstock is really kind of a wow factor for this chilly and cozy Wonderland card. Coming up on the screen in just a minute are a few more videos that I thought you might enjoy, including a video I posted yesterday for the LDRS Creative Day 1 features. So if you're looking for another cozy Wonderland inspired card, you'll see it on the screen now and you can check out that video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!